Shit, what's this podcast called? Discourse of Human Events. The, the discourse is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Everything's okay, I'm just trying to wag my age. Yeah, I wanna know. So the terrible joke I was about to tell you that I gave Chandra off the top of my head was we were watching Man in the High Castle. You said you don't mm-hmm. know about Man in the High Castle? Was it good? I, I've seen it. Okay. I, I, I mean, no, I've seen the advertisements. I haven't actually watched so it. So it's basically a show of what would a, what the United States would be like if we lost World War II and we were occupied on the Pacific coast by the Japanese and on the East coast by the Germans. Oh, okay. So that's like the whole setup. And apparently it's based off a of Philip K. Dick novel. Ah, oh, okay. Which I'm going to have to read. But anyways, while we're watching that, they always like say, you know, my fewer, right? Hmm. So I, I asked Chandra, you know, I think we could do uh, uh, with more more Hitlers in, in the world. And I'm like, well, maybe we could do with uh, one fewer. Making sure Chloe got that. <laughs> that that was the part. That's comedy day. gold. <laughs> That's what that is. Lock it in. <laughs> Lock it in, Johnny. It is a really good show, though. Mm, yeah, we were thinking about watching it. We didn't. I don't know. There's just so much shit to watch. I recommend. So recommend. I want to see where it goes, though. Like it could end up, you know, not being satisfying. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to be caught up in another lost where I'm like, oh, I can't believe I will invested that much time in this. I feel like if they stick to a Philip K. Dick book, then at least there's some sort of. But it's a TV show, so they probably going won't. Going toward resolution. Mm. Well, it's an it's an Amazon Prime show, though, so maybe it'll be true. structured differently. Well, maybe they'll actually end it. God, I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. That's the thing is where they're like, we got a cash cow. Let's not end it. Let's drag it out as long as yeah, fucking exactly. possible. That's the yeah. problem. That's what I don't want to happen. Do you want to? Speaking of bad puns, do you want to hear the terrible pun that I said during a speech at work? Let's hear it. <laughs> All right. So the context is that I went to an information security summit a about a month ago Mm -hmm. and then my work was like hey we're sponsoring you so you should give a speech on what you learned and i was like okay i like going to conferences for free so i'll do that and uh one of the talks i saw was all about attacks that uh hackers can launch on mac computers and i know so many people Mm -hmm. like especially from college who are like oh my god i have a mac computer so i'll never get a virus Mm -hmm. you have a pc so you'll get a virus like all the time but Mm -hmm. i was tired of getting viruses and i'll never get one again because i have a mac you know and so during my talk when i got to my hacks and attacks section i had a little title slide that said hacks and attacks that includes you max and then i followed it up with because if you have a mac and you get attacked then you can be hacked, especially if you don't update your patches. <laughs> Not really a pun. Yeah, you're really stretching pun. on the last bit there. <laughs> oh no, that was. No, the fun is that you jokes. stretch so hard. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's what made it funny. <laughs> oh yeah, it was great. Like um, like only a handful of people showed up anyway because it was after work, and who's gonna want to come to a work thing at six? But like. Everyone else gave me a blank stare except for one guy who was just like, oh, no. <laughs> well, what have I gotten myself <laughs> into? <laughs> was that towards the beginning of the thing? That was, like, right in the middle. Oh. And that's when people were getting... Oh, I bet you it really happened. livened the world up. <laughs> no, it was, it was pretty lively because since only a few people were there, like, there were a couple of people there that knew a lot more about... Um, hacking than I did, so they chimed in to like help fill in some of the blanks. Where I was like, "This is a cool thing I learned, but I don't mm. know a lot about it." 
Nothing rouses a crowd more than internet security. Mm. Dude, internet security is awesome. So fun. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on. Uh, uh, what? What? Do you see? Zach went to Reddit. Where are you? Reddit.com. Yeah. Just the front page. Did no, you... it's Reddit.org. Well, I was looking at the. I thought you'd be on a subreddit. Look at uh, one, two, three, four. Why am I not in the subreddit? Balcony Aquarium? No, yeah, no that's then three. Then I learned Monty Python's always look on the bright side of life is the top requested funeral song in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> so so it, I just introduced Chloe to Monty Python and we launched, uh, we watched the life of Brian, what was it, Thursday? Mm-hmm. And now we're considering yeah. like the bright side of life as maybe a, a one of our wedding songs. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's, it's great. <laughs> That's awesome. It's such a happy song. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Life is a shit when you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Is that going to be the song you dance to? Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Is that, uh, if you say it's your song at your wedding, does that mean you dance to it? Yeah. Because that's an awkward Your wedding thing to song dance to. is the song you dance to. I don't know how to dance to that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're supposed to. <laughs> it will be included somewhere, I guarantee you. We're going to fit it in somehow. You want to walk down the aisle to... <laughs> That? Maybe like, uh, maybe like a fox tried to be stretched really, really hard on that. Mm. Hmm. That's also the step one. Learn how to do fox trot. Yeah. You sh- it should just be all ancient Chinese music yeah. that you don't even listen to. Yeah. And totally other people are like too afraid to say something because <laughs> they mm-hmm. think that's what you actually listen to. <laughs> we can put communist propaganda songs in there. <laughs> you know her parents, her mom and grandmother will be attending, so they'll understand and they'll be like, why the fuck are they listening to this? This is weird. Walk down the aisle to, to their anthem and have like people stand and salute like the Chinese flag. <laughs> I think we got a plan, Chloe. Wait, Chloe, do you salute the flag? Oh, yeah, do you salute you do? like the Chinese flag? Uh, I mean, on the event. In the event. In, in the... How do you salute it? Do you do it, like, to the head and out? Yeah. I'm doing it now and... Yeah, yeah, she's doing the... It. It's like a military The, the typical salute. flag. Salute. Military. No, military. Well, that's what I mean. The military... No, that's not what we did flag, in school. Right? We did hand over heart. But that's not a salute. It's not a salute, but that's what we did every morning. I guess that's what we did for the anthem. Yeah. And that's usually what you do if you stand up, right? That's still Teenagers, really weird yeah. in retrospect. Mm. Teenagers. We were forced to stand mm. for the flag and pledge allegiance every day. Did you see the There's a Whitest Kids You Know sketch? That's where they do the same Pledge of Allegiance, but he adds a bit where they repeat, like, this is not brainwashing. This is not brainwashing. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, and then they, I've seen Like, that. they add a bunch of other shit to it, too. What? Do they still do that in school? I wonder. I think so. I don't see why they won't. I mean, I don't know. I'm because there, a lot no of people more. are, like, in arms about it for a little while because of the under God part. Wow. Well. And also the fact that you should be forced to pledge allegiance. You, you can't. Technically, still... And even when we were in school, if you refused, they couldn't make you. Yeah. But they can exactly, be a real but... fucking dick about you not doing it. But, I was about to say, kind of, there's a social contract that forces you. Just yeah, saying exactly. you're not forced to do it, doesn't mean you're not forced to do it. There's a social contract where if you don't do it, now you're a pariah for not doing exactly. it. Exactly. Like, did you do prayers during the football uh, yes, games? There I were did too. Football prayers. Yes, absolutely. and I mean, I feel like Super if I was like, "This is all bullshit," somebody would like, you know, I'm not going to be the most popular guy. Yeah, in the team sport, <laughs> if you just like, uh, guys, I don't believe we're allowed to pray uh, at school events. Exactly, but we so <laughs> that, we did. That'd go over real well. Yeah, I don't know. I went to a Catholic school, so we prayed at. Like, every morning and also, like, at some school events, though. See, but that's fine, though, because you're not publicly provided by taxpayer dollars. So it's supposed to be secular where we are. It's supposed to be. No, no, that's the the point I was making. Like, like there are schools like Catholic schools and other schools where it's different. Yeah, that's, that's... The weird thing but, is, yeah. we went to a public school and we still had that. So yeah. this happen. Yeah, what are no, you guys doing to your mic? To I hear like... I don't know what I'm doing. 
<laughs> Chloe? What? Before, like, uh, I don't know. Do you Were know? you in any high school activity things? High school activity? You mean other than study? Yeah. That's study. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> thinking man. I was gonna ask if you did anything like pray, but thank Mao or something. Pray and think about not too busy study. Yeah, like thank you, Mao, for sharing that a was bunch their... of stuff. No, back then it's already we're all become very capitalist underneath the hood, so we don't we oh. don't do that anymore. It's not like you didn't say you didn't currency. all bow your head and say like, thank you, Kaching. I like Dala Dala Dala. No, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kaching. No, it's more like. Ah, oh, dear God of tests, so please let me have the oh. higher score. Oh. About three times. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, American. Please let my small classmate be sick that day, fucker. <laughs> nah, you, can, you can't really hope that. It doesn't work. College entrance exam, if you want to go to the head, you gotta pray like first 2,000 people die or something. Jesus. Wait, what? Okay. That's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's competition. Yeah. You know? It's pretty cutthroat, man. Yeah. I think I was around like a two thousand something. Mm. Like they ranked the students for the whole province. Like, yeah. Like the whole. Oh my state. god. Yeah. You know no pressure. exactly where you land. Yeah, dude. In the Bay Area, when I talk with my coworkers, uh -huh. a lot of them are either from China or India, and the uh -huh. Bay Area has essentially become those two things merged in, like it's basically their cutthroat for. They got a caste system going on now? No, it's just <laughs> their kids study for tests. The caste and they're going to go system. to Berkeley, or they're going to go to Stanford, or they're going to go somewhere. And it's like their children are going to summer camp every summer uh, studying. And then mm -hmm. all they talk about with their children is college admissions. So, it's like, uh, this so is like, a so very like, different vibe from our childhood. So very the caste different. system happens like you dumb kids, you don't touch a smart kid. Go away. Mm. I feel like we were pretty much in the, I mean, obviously we weren't pressured into going to Stanford yeah, or anything, but college was, was pretty much, uh... Yeah, but it wasn't still, like, since our parents didn't go to college, it was like... No, I barely wasn't like thought a, about it until it, I was, like, 16 or 17. Yeah, that's and, true. And, like, I didn't prepare my whole life for it, but, like, when I yeah. talk to my coworkers, it's like... I, I swear, like, this one m manager, he just had his son has just been born. He's maybe a year old. And mm -hmm. he's talking to all of them about, like, where he should live so he can get him into the right elementary school, and then eventually he'll get into the right college and all of this. And it's like, wow, they are very different from us. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's our, crazy. My par our parents' philosophy. Like... I don't there know. are some there are Very American crazy. families that are like that. Too. Oh yeah, that's true. yeah yeah. No, I think it's the Bay Area American. in general. Uh, is like everyone's yeah. very competitive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You should look at like the Russian family too, because they are pushing our kids as well. Like, yeah. Too. Russians? Yes, Russians oh. and Germans. I don't think Russians. I can see that. No Russians, I can no, see. No, they're really pushy. Yeah. Especially the ones that come here hmm. to the Bay. Like with Russians, um, again, the um, going back to the information security thing, uh, there's one speaker who was talking about how some of the best hackers come out of Russia, and part of it has to do with the education system hmm. and how, and like the amount of expectations and educational yeah. quality now, that Russian kids have. That's some of Not it. A, common a lot of it is lack of opportunity for other things. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like, well, we don't have any real jobs for you, so uh, if you can figure out how to fuck something up, you can make some money. <laughs> I mean, money is money, right? Yeah, exactly. I, uh, honestly, that's part of it. They don't have quite the economy we do. So even their very smart people have to figure something out. Yeah, I don't, I don't really ever think they, of Russians as like... I'd say they figured pressure. it out pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I think there are a lot of viruses that come from our particular place. They're very talented. I wish I could learn from them. Good that. job, Russia. Good job. <laughs> it's quite the thing to be known for, for a country. Yeah, the, uh, we're really good at viruses. And <laughs> Hacking and things that are nested in each other. Nested little thingies. <laughs> what do they call those? Russian dolls. That's kind yeah. of like hacking, too. Yeah. That's, it's built mm -hmm. into them. There's mm -hmm. systems nested within systems. They, they That's why they're so like good. One of the uh, largest antivirus company capacity. Oh yeah. It was Russian. Yeah. 
Mm. Do you know what's yeah. funny? If it was a 90s movie and a Russian was hacking, that's how they would animate them getting into the system. How would they animate them? Oh, the nesting dolls? <laughs> yeah, yeah probably. nesting doll each time. Oh, they yeah. got into the next system. They'd unlayer each thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In those old hacking movies, like, there's always a visual representation of what the hacking looks like. Uh-huh. Like, either it's the skull laughing or it's, like, the nesting dolls. So what's what's the stereotype, then, of some other countries that would people wouldn't think of like stereotypes of other countries maybe not stereotypes but like a no let's be terrible stereotyping oh okay no well first you gotta find, figure out this not stereotype what are cultural paradigms okay because when I said like Asians definitely study a lot harder that's definitely cultural like all the yeah. first world Asian immigrants if they came here it's because their parents fucking was gonna disown them if they didn't get A pluses. Okay, that's how they got to America. Uh, so you know, there's kind of a culture it's not just there. That. What's that? It's not just that. What's what? Not just that. Why is it not just that? It's also peer pressure, right? Peer pressure. I mean, you're well. That peer pressure is built from that pressure, yeah. though. Bill, peer pressure comes from culture. Okay. Yeah. And, and. So I'm just saying it's stereotype it just means what was the culture of the place uh, yeah that's kind of like the only way of going outside of your essentially your caste system mm. right i see the so what was the major pressure status. for us then what was the american pressure i feel like ours are all more socially based on friends yeah. and like high school politics which is weird because it doesn't matter at all after it does. high school's over. But when like, you're in high school, if you study, it, it actually matters afterwards, yeah. right? When high school's over, it actually has an effect. But, but yeah, Americans are terrible at planning in the future. Being cool in high school, which is almost actually like the exact opposite of studying hard. Yeah, that's true. It, which I failed miserably. Not that I studied hard, but I, you know. Yeah. Never, never uh, took much to the school. Never, yeah. Never took much to Either the book one. learning. Either the studying or the uh, being the cool kid. Yeah. No, for me it was like I usually studied because partly because I had an Indian dad who was like, "Oh, you gotta be what went wrong." <laughs> I, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid. Jesus. Christ. Fucking Christ, I'm sorry that I'm not winning this competition yet, but your other cousins who also have Indian kids who are learning. Anyways, that'll let us aside. Um, shit, <laughs> shit, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so, anyways, when I, like, you know, I studied and did well because, you know, there was, like, that familial pressure and also merit scholarships, which makes you. Mm -hmm. that, that's kind of an encouragement, because if you stop studying and get worse grades and lose yeah. that scholarship, that's... But the uh, thing is, we weren't thinking about college, like you said. Yeah. See, but, exactly. Yeah, you know, but, Zach um, and I, I was, if we got c straight C's, nothing yeah, but, but I mean, C's, when I, we like, were like, At the same time I was uh -huh. doing that, I had friends more in undergrad than in high school, but like they would not really study that much, but they would still view themselves as being highly intelligent. And then when they would do badly in class and get bad grades, they would start saying, oh, well, you know, like getting good grades in school and like getting that piece of graduation paper at the end, that's not really a good mark of intelligence. So they would downplay like the value of actually, you know, doing your work while you're in school. I don't entirely disagree with them. I think yeah. your piece of paper is just a worthless uh, piece of shit. I don't fucking care about my piece of paper. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. no I don't entirely disagree with them either, exactly. but it was, it was one of those things that became kind of like a social pressure thing of, yeah. oh, well, it, like... The thing is, they'll say that, it like it doesn't matter that piece of paper, but they still don't learn anything. That's, that's like, my thing. I will I go and read like things outside that. of curriculum, and I still try to be a little autodidactic and like learn things, just not on a set schedule or mm -hmm. in a set way. I've learned so but much. But people more will say that, and, yeah, exactly. People will say that and still just fucking watch the reality TV shows all day and be like, yeah. "I'm a genius." Okay, <laughs> you know what? That you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I had a math teacher tell me. He sat me down. I I probably told this story before, but he sat me down and was like, "So this week, you turned in all your homework and you got a, a perfect on the test. This other week, you slept the whole week, 
and you got a C on the test. Do you notice any patterns here? And I'm like, yeah, sometimes I'm sleeping in class. Like, I don't know. What do you want me to say? Like, sometimes I'm going to be tired in class because I'm forced to go to this school that I don't want to go to and take these damn tests and do this homework. Mm. And that's another thing, like homework. Like, they, it seems like high school and colleges just try to demotivate you. In some ways, the way yeah. they teach and the way they provide. Do you have like a lot of homework, Chloe, or was it just studying? No, I have a lot of homework too. It's but our homework is pretty challenging. I would say it's not that easy, like especially for math ones, because uh, uh, the purpose, like if you listen a hundred percent, like put your attention a hundred percent in class and study everything, you probably can get like ninety percent. There are still like 10% is for the people who, you know, like either you have to really think it through or you have to be pretty smart to figure it out. So it's at some point it's challenging. It's not just no, like that's you remember our, what you listen our to. Our homework was basically just tedious work. Yeah. yeah. We never had yeah. it like, this is really hard. It's just like, oh, yep. And here's another problem that's instead of this times this, it's this times this. I don't know about college, but in high school, if I couldn't get it done during during high school, like during the day, I didn't I didn't do it. Yeah, most of the time I didn't. If I never, I think I almost never once. Maybe like, I think the paper we had to write for English class uh -huh. for twelfth grade, I did outside of school. Mm -hmm. But almost never, I would, like, if I couldn't get it done during the day in high school, I would not do it. Yeah. I would just not. The vast majority of my lower grades or why my grades were lower was because the homework affected my grade more and I did less of it. Mm. <laughs> See, I, th I think that's the problem, right? Like when you are making studying such a chore and then without keep your mentally stimulated, then you yeah. just feel it's boring and you don't want yeah, to Yeah, yeah, it's it. not mentally Same stimulated. Same thing like you play... Yeah, yeah, same thing like when you're playing the game that the game is too easy. Like solving a puzzle, really. Yeah. If you challenge, you feel challenged when you have to look for stuff, have to think it over, but then the test just gives you like, okay, connect those two dots. I know I'm a terrible person. What? But I think it's somewhat because they cater to the dumb kids. They do. Well, that's public school. It's yeah, like, they have to do the lowest yeah. common denominator. For sure. Like some of the dumb kids really actually need to freaking practice a lot of the things in homework. And I would just be like, but I can just take the test. I can do it already. Yeah, that's what, that's what that's what I always felt. I'm like. not gonna do your but missing work. Make, okay, just yeah. But then they make homework affect. Your I got grade. the idea. But it's like if I can yeah, get an A on the test or a B, why does my homework affect my grade still? Like clearly, I understand exactly. the shit. Why? What? What? The? What's the homework have to do with this? Yeah. I've seen some of the examples of the common course. Like some people post on this Chinese forum that I visited. They have their kids entering the you know public school and actually study common course, and they complain like how ridiculous it is in some of the way where like two times three is not equal to three times two, like the way what? you um, what? They don't like, think math is commutative. No, it's Who like uh, uh, when you do something like two times three is not uh, three times two. Like they have a freaking meanings behind it or some shit. I'm confused, but what like math they're teaching? Oh, like we're yeah, the yeah. Math that's like math. is this yes. flat earth or math? You, what are we talking uh, about? It may. Be <laughs> I think. So. Yeah, I think Shandra probably can explain better than I do. Oh. Um, I only saw it briefly a couple. Of it's like, there have been really, it's like I don't know much about is. it. I actually forget what it's called, but it's just this weird way of doing math where teachers try to get kids to think about math in like a philosophical way or something like that, but what? it's badly implemented. Oh, I just called it New World Order oh. Math because oh. I was just making fun of like the Illuminati like gotcha. tricking people into learning stupid math. It's all a plan. It's a conspiracy for them yeah. to dumb us down. Well, like, yeah, there's <laughs> a, like, going back to our last example podcast. of a math problem <laughs> where kids were told, "All right, add these two numbers together," but like the instructions had this weird wording in it that's specific to this stupid brand of math and they did the uh. assignment, they added the numbers together exactly and the teachers were like, "No, you're wrong because you're supposed to 
round the numbers up and down before adding them and get an estimate and <laughs> yeah those those kind of thing right and the especially ridiculous when someone said like uh i used to graduate at the was you know math degree i mm. got a phd in mathematics and i tried to do my kids homework i still got it wrong you know yeah. like, it's <laughs> those kind of so it's like, like uh, uh <laughs> they want to enforce how you get to the answer yeah like, but as long as you understand is the important point. Like, you understand what addition is. Like, how you understand they it. They weren't even asking well, the, for the addition. Problem. They were asking for, like, some weird kind of, like, What the hell is it called? Do you know? Just, I don't know, look up stupid math that's stupid as shit. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> but that's actually <laughs> how they introduce it to kids, math. too. They're like, hi, kids, today Common we're going to go Common Common core. over. Okay, I have ah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Yeah, just for a I have heard of people like. I'm gonna go. Let's do this. Let's Google. I'm gonna Google this. Common Core Math Question. Oh shit! Bring it on. The just ten just dumbest math. Common Core problems. Give it to me, so I don't have them up. This will be fun for the podcast. Use number bonds to help you skip count by seven by making ten or adding to the ones. So they split. The what seven did you just what? say to me? Four. I don't know what that means. Look at this. Number one, it has seven plus seven equals ten plus four, which is equal to something. And the question is, use number bonds to help you skip count by seven by making ten That's what or I already adding do in my head. to the ones. Look at, look at this. I see. Look at yeah, how yeah. stupid this is. Don't you like, already do that in your head? Equals all this. Like, oh, it's two times seven. It's fourteen. Done. No, well, no, I thought it was like yeah. You're breaking most one people of the just know seven down and seven. Get it to 14. ten, and then what's left over, you add to ten. Yeah, that's what I do in my head when I add. Numbers. I see seven plus seven plus three is ten, and then there's four left over, which is equal to fourteen. Yeah, I mean, I why get do I that. Why your feedback? So. That's yeah. how I had so, so that's what I said. They're enforcing how you yeah. do it, not that you get the right answer. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, like, mad at that, uh, necessarily. Let's move on. No, I think that is... Stupid. Yeah, like, if you just know 7 and 7 is 14, fucking just write it down. Yeah. <laughs> I just knew, like, if you asked me what 7 plus 7 ought to go, it's 14. I don't have to break it down into number do you bonds. you do that in your head, though? Maybe that's others? what I do. I don't have a terminology for it. I say, you, you do Yeah, that, though, like, right? I would do something similar to this with larger numbers. Exactly. But I wouldn't have a terminology for it. I want to go, I do number bonds in my head. I just... Yeah, that's... You just that's say in your head, you do, do the it. Same thing, but we were never taught this weird way of yeah. doing it. Yeah. So obviously it's just the like, natural look, way look, to do it. Look, look, look at the... Look at this subtraction. Mm. Look at it. 132 minus 52 is equal equal to 82. What 134 is the on the fucking right is? 82. What the fuck is this nonsense? Okay. There's it's dots massive, and X's. Right? No, I don't know what's going on. X's and a hundreds column. Okay, they had a hundreds, tens, and ones columns. And there's circles and squares and arrows. I'm so lost. Oh, okay. In the, yeah, in just, the ones they put... It looks like it's just putting a lot more complication four, on top of it. And then they X'd out two because that four is being subtracted by two, but... Somehow they made it take more work than longhand division. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, f two, four, take away two. They X out the two. And then they go, oh, okay. Now they go to the tens, and there's three... And they're taking away... Shit. Why does this they're seem more borrowing. complicated? Five. Ah, yeah, they Borrow. borrow from the hundreds, which means they scoot it uh -huh. over to ten dots on the tens, uh -huh. and they X out five of the dots, uh -huh. and then that's how many is left. Eight. So I get it. It is the... Like, like understand what you're doing. That well, seems you way the process harder. Process. Yeah, you, it's you just extra work on top of it. Yeah. Again, you, I think this is catering to dumb kids. I think if you I, have that seems harder though. Extrapolating things is through the numbers. Maybe math is not your major. It's more explicit. How? Tell me how, Nick. There's how no that's like implications. Than, There's nothing you have to figure. Take take the four. Subtract two, you have a two there. All right, uh -huh. let's go to the three minus five. Whoa, five is bigger. Yeah. Better 
put that one over there and take 13 minus 5. How is that graphic nonsense with X's yeah, and dots five, and everything? Yeah. How is that easier? They're trying to make sure you understand okay. why it's 13 But couldn't you also five. do like, okay, so let's take the 34 out of the 52. What do we have left? So we're at 100 minus what? What's left of the 52? And then take that. Yeah, you could. That seems so That's the easy. point. That's what I don't like about it. Is you could do both ways. Both ways are equally valid. Ways. You could say, let's just subtract like 34. Okay, 52. What's left over after yeah. I subtract 34 from so 52? That's what I take out so of 100. we got 18 left. But so they would say, no, 18. you're wrong. Okay, we got it. That's not the right way to do it. That's not the right way. The right way is this way. And it's like, no, it's whatever's faster or whatever you think of. If like, anything is the wrong the way, it's what first. I see right here. That's the problem with this common core, though, is that exactly. it's one of those things where like, a teacher might say, all right, there is another way you can think about this if this is easier for you, like if you think in a more visual way. But, yeah. like, you know, it'd be more of an option. Like, it should be There's option. only one right yeah. way with a common like, core. Oh, you're not doing it this way, you're doing it the it's wrong way. It's a good way. way to show visual learners how to do math. I get that, yeah. I guess. There's only one right way. I think that's the general philosophy I see. The problem in this. is the common of common core. <laughs> so, uh, like, I I understand that they are trying to use this sort of ex, uh, abstract drawings to simulate your thought process, right? Mm -hmm. So this should be the way that you teach in class, right? Yeah. And then after you learn that, yeah. now get rid of it, right? Yeah. And with I, mean, I can see this being an explanation for why it's the way it works. Yeah. But there could be lots of other ways of explaining this. Perfectly valid as well. You can also just start with an easier problem if somebody can't understand subtraction. All right, let's start with 101 minus 2. And they would understand how that works. Mm. You, could also, you could also try the Asian tactic of beating them until they get it right, whether or not the method it works or not. It doesn't matter how they do it. You just hit them until they say the right answer. Is that about right? No, no, no. No? Oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood it. <laughs> Doing 100, a random abstract subtraction question, mm -hmm. you'll figure out somehow. Okay. Whether it's the but one if they get you, if you get, like, let's say only 80%, which is a B, then you get beaten. No, no, no. They're like, take the test again. <laughs> You'll get it. You'll figure it out. No, no, no. Just, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So if you're bound to be one of the dumb ones, right? Mm. If you're bound so to be one of the dumb ones. So this is basic skill. By basic, I mean, you go to <laughs> a grocery store. Like mm. the to, So give it a little background. Like at least when I grew up, the grocery store is not the place where you buy actually the fresh veggies and fruits and all that, right? Okay. So you go to this market, so it's kind of like farmer's market, everyone trading cash, right? Mm -hmm. So if you don't know subtraction and how it works, you're probably going to end up as a job who's standing over there selling vegetables and fruits, right? And mm -hmm. when people give you 100 bucks, you're supposed to give them with the correct money back. Right. If you gave them more money, you, you obviously you lost your business, right? Mm. So, so like you have to learn this. No, no, Chloe, you haven't seen America. Mm. Do you know if you go to McDonald's and you peer over, just look at their cash register? Yes. Yeah, they'll have like pictures of Big Mac. You click the Big Mac. See, that's and then it gives you the exact change. Give them one dollar bill, so, give them three dimes, give them four pennies. So some of those are small stand sellers like yeah. in China, mm. at least the, where I grew up. Yeah, I know you don't Dude. have that tech. No, they, they don't have that tech, and they don't even have a freaking calculator. So, right? Mm. They, they have this like old-fashioned scale. Oh, yeah. They, they just have how to hit. Much units it is. They bought three houses. corns, they hit the three corn the butt the corn button three times <laughs> and then they bought two apples they hit the apple button two times dude when i worked so, at Arby's. like i'll give you a perfect example so is do you have the same thing like pictures of no the so food? they had the words but when i worked at arby's and the machines went down they have the word that's problem. basically not that different than the yeah, picture no, it was a problem when the thing yeah. went down because i would have to start like doing the math for the, the kids there. And, I mean, these were like 16, 17-year-olds. They should be able to, like, 
subtract stuff. I'm not saying everybody there they had a problem, but there I was, was definitely just... like, okay, shit, this is an issue. Was part of it because not just because they were dumb, because they were that, high. Oh, at the absolutely, same time. that could have been part of the problem too. <laughs> <laughs> I got so, fucking brain power. Another thing that I noticed right when I, when I come. Hello. What are you saying? So like? another thing that I I realized when I come to America, like mm. this is like I don't know within the first month I went to the Kroger, right? Of mm. course. At that time I don't have uh you know a debit card or credit card, so I mm -hmm. used the cash. Mm. So I purchased like this is number that I made up because uh, I don't remember exact numbers, but uh, I remember. Buying something, say roughly like eighty-two dollars, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, I gave the cashier eighteen. No, one hundred and two dollars. Uh, no. Now, how much do I expect yeah, to get back? 20, yeah, twenty. Exactly right. The cashier gave me the two dollar back. Said like, no, 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 you don't need this because this is too much. Yeah. Wait, two dollars? I had that happen at a yeah, McDonald's one she time. Took, she totally didn't get it. She didn't get it why I gave her extra $2. Oh. Because like, I want the oh, one twenty dollars yeah. bill. Yep, yep. Instead, she didn't take my $2 bill, gave me $18. Oh, she back. said, no, you don't need to give me the 102 stupid. And then <laughs> I was like, uh, no, no, no. I'm not the stupid uh, one in this <laughs> transaction here. <laughs> Let yeah, me explain to you what I'm doing. And, and I, just, I just don't want Give me to, a fucking I 20. I want to avoid sure. the argument, and I just took my money I, and left. That's usually, yeah. I usually am. Like, whenever I do that, though, like, I haven't had a problem with that. Like, giving cashiers extra money. So that's probably just, like, a case-by-case -case thing. And also, that happened. To me, that did happen to me in Japan, though. Like, I tried to give the cashier extra money so I could get even money. They're back. cashiers. They should be able. They should be used to it, so yeah. they should it's know like, what you're doing, and, and then like, they should you know, have the ability to do the mental <laughs> math. I just don't want change. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's fall up. Like it'll be like fourteen dollars yeah, exactly. uh, and ten cents, and I'll hand them like a twenty and twenty-five cents. I, it blew like a McDonald's worker's mind. They were just like sitting there staring at it, and they called like their manager over to like, what is, why is this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is happening? Like, is <laughs> Let's call corporate. We got to figure this one out, guys. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? This is not like, I didn't throw a curveball here. <laughs> I mean, that's, that was, like, biggest shock to me. It's like, you're a cashier. That yeah, is your job. You think the money that I gave yeah. you. Most cash <laughs> registers, well, actually, every cash register I've ever worked at, I've worked at least three or four different cash registers. You just type in the amount they give you. You don't have to think about it. If they give you more than the amount, just type in what they give you, and they'll tell you exactly mm. what to give back. What to give? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. In America, we've tried to dumb it down as much as humanly possible. That's not helping them. No, but it will force them to learn. If you don't give them that, that's the tool. thing. Our education system just doesn't work. We give them a degree anyways. See, the problem is, so if you take away the technology, right, which mm. would require you to hire people who has a real high school education, mm. right, and then. People won't give out high school education just like for free. You yeah. actually have some sort but of But no, you have here. to give it out, the high school education, for basically free. Why? Why? Is because you want them to go to college because then you call, you charge them real fucking money and then they actually have to pay you. Whether they graduate college is irrelevant. The point is they pay you. <laughs> that's that's true. Mind. Yeah. I honestly think that's at least 80% of the reason high school has been dumbed down so much, they basically just give it to you just for showing up. If you show up, they will give you a high school diploma. I, I assure you, I there's at least one person I know that can't add, you know, oh two God. numbers <laughs> that would add up to something over ten without a great deal of difficulty. Yeah, it's so true. But still has a high school diploma. It, it's, it's a very good point. And since I went to, like, the branch at Mansfield... It's almost open enrollment. Like, it's real easy to get into, right? So mm. I've noticed the first year, like, there yeah. was some, like, people in college. I'm, like, Hello? looking at them, like, how the fuck did you get here? Like, there's no way you can survive. Yeah, guess what? They got a government uh -huh. loan, and then they pay exactly. the college. But so the college gets money for them Each being Each year there. I stay, now, it, 
less of so it. So that means they have an inside dove. Less yeah. of it. You can tell, like, oh, okay, so they dropped it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, you can tell, like, they, they're not Right. Gonna What's the five-year graduation rate college U.S.? Thirty-two percent pers- complete a bachelor's degree within six years. Within six years. Six years, only a th- not even quite a third. A third. That's a third of people. So only a third of them. With open admissions policies, that's what they say. If they have open admissions, only one third of people actually complete. Yeah, in no, six that makes years. sense because that's exactly what I notice is. Each year I stayed, less and less people were there. It's about and they were smarter each year. Two thirds disappear. Yeah. yeah. But they just uh, don't continue. But yeah, you they know what? They, yeah, out. but they, they paid the whole time and to figure out. out that they couldn't do it. That's the point. Honestly, college is one of the best businesses to be in. Yeah. You get money from the government for people yeah. to pay you. Mm. And not everybody even stays the whole time, but you have a lot of people that are guaranteed to stay like four years, and then they might come back. Yeah. Yeah. And they are trying to get rid of a college admission test, you know. Yeah, because yes. they want more people. It's because they want as many people to pay them as possible. It's college or medicine. <laughs> if you get into one of those two fields, you're it's making terrible, bank. but true, man. <laughs> All right? That's so true. And the only reason tuition's yeah, so high that, is because that's American there are business government today. for it. It's the same problem with mm. it's literally the same problem yeah, with medicine yeah. because of insurance. That's the only reason med- medicine and stuff yeah. so expensive because of insurance. It's like, well, ins- it's you have to have insurance to get this, and somebody's getting yeah. rich. And you know what? You know what sucks about somebody's getting rich off of this? Mm-hmm. It's not me, <laughs> dude. Start your college, man. For that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Nick's in- Institute of College <laughs> of College uh, Knowledge. Uh, no, Institute of Medicine and <laughs> making colleges or whatever the shit makes you money in America no, nowadays. No, I mean yours actually. Your, <laughs> that, your name. That's the college I'm gonna Mine found. Your name. Non-accredited. Nick's yeah. Institute of College Knowledge. You know there was kind of an attempt at that. I'm not sure Trump U was that different. Oh, it was basically, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's a good point. I don't know, whatever. Just fill out this application and give me yeah, money, we'll man. We'll get you an education right quick. <laughs> mm-hmm. Does Trump U still exist? <laughs> uh, that's another good question. And now I don't think it does. I think they sued uh, because it was so bad. <laughs> How can you sue because it's... And I think it was basically just a way to extract money from the government for the loans they would give you for yeah, tuition. See, this is this is my point. People I like call uh, Trump stupid, but clearly it's not that he's stupid. It's just that he doesn't care. And he does things that people wouldn't he, do. Uh, yeah, he's I think he made I, money. Yeah, I don't think he lost no, money. It, well, I don't think it was his actual university. I think... I think this was one of his um, brandings. Like, he didn't actually own the thing. He just put his name on it. Which, is, like, I I agree. I would rather we have a president that would have been like, no, that's immoral. Yeah. Yes. Like, I know I'm raping he's, the shit out of these he's students. He's dumb. He's morally Yeah, comfortable. exactly. Yeah, I think he's immoral. I, I don't think he's dumb. A lot of people look at him as yeah. dumb. Same thing with uh, Bush. People call him dumb. I'm like, yeah, no. I don't know about that. I don't think you can uh, get the president. He, they, they, they both dumb. play dumb people yeah. on TV. They play dumb no. people on TV. He, he, they, they are smart people to manipulate the public favoritism. Mm. Right? I wouldn't say he's necessarily smart either. I don't think he even looked. I think it's like, you want my name? Yeah. It's, he, it's I think he signed money. a piece of no, paper. I'm not talking about the, uh, really uh, quick. Saw, saw the profit yeah. margins. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I mean, how many pieces yeah. of paper, if you're Trump before president, did you already just sign off on? Like, yeah, okay, this is going to make me this much money? Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, if you're trying to brand your reputation, you should probably be like, are you doing something immoral? 
Okay, I don't want to put like assist you with my but branding. Was, I mean, how much? I do not? think we should okay. have a president that would have said that. That would be yeah, the yeah, idea. Yeah, our president. Yeah, gonna, maybe yeah I'll do that. that time that he didn't have to think about uh, running. At that time, he hasn't thought about running. Maybe. Mm, no, I'm sure he did. It's not about that. It's about <laughs> I wish we had filtered down the presidency to people that had some sort of sense of morality in their heart rather than just outright <laughs> sociopaths. But I do agree. Mostly, they're just sociopaths. Yeah. We just only sociopaths. But what kind of person is going to be attracted to the president, or any of it, besides a sociopath? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's pretty much sociopaths Are you, only. So you would apply. say Obama is a sociopath? Yeah, I, I, I would guess that he probably is I at think least somewhat sociopathic. His public image is very. I don't think we've had a non sociopathic one yeah, in a long I think his time. public image is separated from who he is, and that's part of probably the sociopath behavior right there. He's not the same person. I'm sure I could find, if I look through every th- decision he made, I could made, find plenty that were completely immoral. That were just based on image alone. In fact, I think, uh, what was the... Mm-hmm. There were some votes that, during the Senate, mm-hmm. he knew he was going to possibly run mm-hmm. for president. So he didn't vote one way or the other. He abstained strategically. Yeah. He just had some strategery, man. You know what I mean? So he didn't want to record... Like, there were definite ones that I would have really liked to know... What your opinion was, uh, or which way you he went, knew it but would be he would, you can, as a senator, you can abstain. Yeah, so he would just not vote, even if it was super important, like things with the Iraq yeah, War yeah. or whatever. You would just abstain not from the do Iraq it. War vote. Oof. That was one of the things I was like. Well, I know you're just playing yeah. politics here. I guess there's another uh, spot where money's at. Especially if you can get mm, into Congress. War. And yeah. Kind of sweet it's another things. thing you'd include in my no, university. About war. I mean, I guess uh, politics and war. <laughs> yeah. No, I was thinking politics. Or... Yeah. Mm. Profiteering. I yeah, there you is go. That. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of money in politics. Yep. Depends on the politics. It's even worse in China. Like, uh, what? So, in the U.S., senators are usually, you know, rich or whatever before mm-hmm. they get elected. In China, don't they at least usually pretend that they're a civil servant and don't have much money, but they drive a Ferrari <laughs> anyways? Uh, they're son. Yeah, the, like, they'll be like, I'm a public servant, I have a salary of 25000 a year, but their son goes to Harvard and he drives a Ferrari so, and a flies for That's funny that you mentioned that. And has a so, mansion. When I was working for yeah. a certain company, I worked yeah. with salespeople. I heard stories of, like... There, there was people mm-hmm. who had multiple cars, right? And they had one car that's like a very conservative car that would mm. they would drive through their accounts, so people wouldn't know about like their BMWs and their other mm-hmm. nice cars that basically the people they're going to funded through having all their policies and stuff. Yeah. So there's definitely that image mm. in sales too, where it's like, well, I don't want them to like think I'm making all this bank off of them even though I am so it's not like I want to pull up in my you know BMW or whatever their nice car was see the thing is like officially the salary in China for like a probably well they have like an assembly right assembly but they have like a people's uh, like not like Congress exactly but like each people are represented in some sense yeah. Even if they don't have power. Okay. And I'm sure they have a low salary and there are mayors and shit like that. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, and all their yeah. salaries are officially low. Hmm. They're yeah, really they low. Are. They are. But if you get in there, suddenly you become insanely rich. Yes, but people took bribes. <laughs> yeah. So you know it's blatant corruption. I think we just pretty much know if it's in politics, it's corruption. Shit, like, local yeah. government is corrupted as fuck. I didn't yeah. realize that either. With, like, uh, school districts and all oh, that stuff. obviously. So corrupted. Dude, yeah. Bay Area is insane. Yeah. Do you, like, uh, just the... Mm-hmm. Uh, like, part of the reason the housing prices in California... 
are so insane is because of local yeah. politics where they basically veto any new development whatsoever. Like you're you're not basically on very rare instances are you allowed to build really? a house ever. And I'm sure the people that do in some magical way have yeah. paid off the right people to be allowed that's to build the house. I get I also like that's just something that drives me nuts. I get like you shouldn't just be able to build a house any fucking place, right? But that's sort of what it kind of yeah. used to be, right? But they say that, like, oh, it's we have regulations, but the regulations aren't there for making sure things are nice. The regulations are there for me to say no yeah. until you give me a payment. Like, is it legal for me to go and build, like, a cabin in public woods or something? It depends on the state. Because I, I, I want to build my own house one day, so I've actually uh -huh. looked into this quite a bit. Tennessee, basically, if you go to Tennessee, you can fucking throw anything up anywhere you want. They don't look. So, so they, <laughs> they don't, don't care. care if you fucking build That's, a domicile. And... California is one of the worst states in the hmm. U.S. So yeah. Tennessee's the place to go and just build some yeah. shit. And so I'm trying to plan out my retirement because I want to build hmm. my own house. Hmm. And so, oh yeah, the idea, like, I want, like, an inner courtyard. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I was... So okay, you weren't yeah, surrounded I, I didn't by remember stuff. If I told you, and then like, but like the building surrounding it. Yeah. yeah, like there's a, yeah, yeah, but a lot of places will follow the regulations that are like a international mm -hmm. code, and you have to have two means of egress, yeah. which means you can't actually exit this inner courtyard into your own house. You have to exit through a door to the outside. Mm -hmm. So any place that adopts this code, you're not I got it. Do I it. got the way around. No, even though I don't think it makes any goddamn sense. Make it so you can climb over what's, over what's the a around? building. So you put a ladder somewhere so you can egress over and then dig a tunnel under. <laughs> yeah. I believe by egress they will mean like an, a door immediately <laughs> out. But maybe if I pay the right person, it yeah. won't mean that. What determines the outside, then, if it's in the middle of your house? Because you just have... It just means completely outside of the house. But that is completely outside of the house if it's a courtyard, not inside the house. No, if I'm in the courtyard, it's surrounded by my Which house. Which means it's not in the house. Right? No, it's inside the house. Yeah, like you, if I had to go what outside, inside? I had to walk through my house, which means it's... Because it's not completely covered. It means I can't go to... I, you're out, you're out fucking no, side. I couldn't go. <laughs> if I'm on my I patio, know, am I uh, but I, it's fairly clear what they mean. No, if you're surrounded by walls, I, fence. I would be surrounded by walls the entire time. Then I'd be technically hmm. inside my house, even if it's outside. Okay, may make put a door right. Put a door there, and have it be like a stupid like walkway that goes over to the outside. The door oh, yeah, doesn't yeah, actually attach it to anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just basically a floating door. Just to, just for the standards. But that's the point. You have to do all the stupid <laughs> shit that doesn't yeah. make any sense. That's the that is the point. <laughs> I wanted to just I like if the house was on yeah. fire, right? Uh, you know, I, I would just let it burn while I'm inside. Wouldn't I don't, you just go to one of the exits that's not like, on fire? If, if it, no, okay, the here's the thing. If the house yeah. was on fire, and it wasn't an inner courtyard, it was just mm -hmm. a room, and all four walls were on fire, yeah. I would die. Well, that's your fault for building but that But I'd make that central room an outside area, and then all of a sudden, I need to have a means of egress in case there are fire yeah. on all four Except sides. Outside. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it, it's only because I've made my room an outside room that I now need to have an escape route. Okay. Like, before I could have just died with the four walls burning yeah. down. It's... It makes no sense whatsoever. 
Could you, okay, so could you have a cover that could be removed? A cover? Oh, yeah. to make it an so indoor it's room? Technically indoor, so I didn't technically have a means of. But can become outdoor? So that's actually somewhat a plan is like, so you start with everything yeah. legal. And then once it gets approved and everything, you do modifications afterwards. And that's basically what happens in the uh, Bay Area. Get it approved with, like, like a natural is room. You basically, then, but have it set up so you can demolish that inner uh, room. Well, they basically, since it's ba practically illegal to build a new mm -hmm. house, yeah. close to, a lot of people just buy mm -hmm. old houses demolish everything inside but the exterior and then build everything they want on the inside. Mm. But because they didn't completely a 100% demolish it, it doesn't need to be reevaluated. So they can break all the rules really? they want on the inside. Yeah, do you have to keep like, the exact outside That is what outside, I've learned though? is what most people What if do? you want to make additions to your house? Yes. That would have to be approved? You might be able to make additions to the outside, but they'd have to be legal. Mm -hmm. But, like, as long as, like, technically no one knows you're doing things on the gotcha. inside, they're not going to yeah, yeah. go and inspect. So they basically just buy it, demolish everything except the exterior, and completely redo the inside. Man. Walls are screwy. And the inside's probably super illegal. Yeah. Like, it's not regulated This reminds at all. me of uh, some good lawyering that happened in Columbus. Did you hear about this? No. Nah. So that? this porn star, Stormy Daniels, came to I did oh, hear yeah. about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I didn't so hear she, the lawyering, she though. Came to, yes, so she came to Columbus. You heard the whole story. She got arrested, right? Because she touched uh -huh. a patron, and there was three undercover cops. Uh -huh. So the lawyer got it, her case dismissed immediately because the, in the ORC, in the Ohio Revised Code, it says a uh, person who is regularly publicly, regularly nude or semi-nude at the establishment cannot touch a patron. He got it dismissed okay. by saying she is not regularly at this establishment. This was a special event. She's so not because regularly, they the regularly nude. She's a, she's rarely nude. This is a rare occurrence no, of her nudity. Exactly. That's a rare occurrence yeah, of her being is. there and nude. Yeah. That is. Got her off. Dismissed. <laughs> you know, uh, honestly, I think part of this was... I don't know. Do you suspect that it was just pro-Trump people, like, targeting Stormy Daniels for... Uh, you know, think out with a it's an absolute thing. yes. That's what it was. Yeah. Why would there be three <laughs> undercover cops? <laughs> like they're pro cops, right? Cops are pro Trump generally. Yeah, exactly. So they wanted to exactly. get at this girl that was, you know, and then yeah, she's the one probably with all the Trump stuff. But you got to go the other side. More than likely, the judge and the lawyer were not quite so pro Trump. So they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's technically valid. Not yep. guilty. <laughs> but it it's, was also because it was, it was making huge headlines, and people were like, well, this is obviously yeah. a political move, so it would look bad if they actually... That's true. Like, That's also would it true. look for Columbus if they kept going through with it? All over the place. I, just the legal system's bullshit. The fact that, you know, the strip, strippers can't touch you, I guess? Like, who... Yeah, it's the fucking prevent, they like, can take their stuff, I guess. Yeah, they can take their clothes off and dance all around, but as soon as they put a finger out and just touch you a bit, what? it's illegal. I don't know, whatever. And lap dances always just... involve them rubbing up against you, so that doesn't make any sense either. Exactly. Oh, it's, also, see, it's all just also bullshit that, all around. That law, that law in Columbus, yeah. never been enforced since it's been implemented until that day. And it was implemented exactly. in like 2007. <laughs> exactly. That, that also hurt their case all That's lot. what I mean. It's bullshit all around. Yep. But it was good good rules lawyering. Not says ah, they would come up with anything. Not regular. There's always some ambiguity you can be like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what that's what's fucked about laws in general. You can't just have a like what's the spirit of the law? What are we actually trying to help? 
Did this person actually mm. try to like do something? Well, that's the thing. I don't even agree with the spirit of this law. Lady no, no, wants no, to no, touch I, your I parts for money. You want her to touch your parts for money. You exchange cash. They get touched. Done. Not my problem. I don't need to be well, involved the in this at all. Of the law, <laughs> I don't yeah. agree with the law at all either. But the spirit of the law basically is don't give hand jobs to patrons and stuff. You know. Yeah. That's yeah, the whole yeah. spirit of the law, basically. The spirit is, yeah, yeah. Well, let's not have a little prostitution. But uh, I don't agree with that. I, I don't either. I mean, if you do a consenting do what adult, you want to do. it. Did you see? Uh, there's this YouTube video of this guy pleading to his. Uh, um, city council about this. Mm-hmm. It's so hilarious. He's like giving a little speech, and he's like, "I don't see why we should have it be illegal for a woman to massage every part of your body, except your genitals." And he like talks like that too, and he just like goes through. <laughs> he's like, "I think this is makes no sense, not morally. If they're two consenting adults, and I want the." Uh, massage therapist to also massage my genitals. I don't see why they they could not and massage my genitals. Massage? I mean, to... with her mouth. Yeah. He also <laughs> brought up like exactly. It's just like she could if I didn't exchange money. But if as soon as the money is involved, I can't do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. This makes no sense. I am for the massaging of genitals by two consenting <laughs> adults. Is so funny. Yeah. All right. I, I forget what you have the, to send me that one. Yeah, I, I, it was on uh, some other podcast where it's like going over it because it was it was just hilarious. So they think the guy that was giving the speech was a, a comedian or something. It was pretty, oh. pretty I thought he just sounded autistic. No, well, sort of a little bit, but could be that he's. Uh, I'm gonna look it up on YouTube real quick so I can give it to the listeners because it was pretty funny. What should I see? Uh, yeah, all ten of you guys. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Columbus. City council massage genitals. I might bring it up. I could come up with a lot yes, of results, there, man. There it is, guys. Guys in passion plea for legal genital massages. <laughs> Which, oh, I forgot. He ends it with. And if this was legal, that would be a true happy ending. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tops it all off with that. All right, well, I think uh, massaging genitals is always a good place to end it. Good place to end it? Yeah. All right. All right. Talk to you later. All right.